Okay, it's Sunday, 7 11 21. That's how they would do it in Argentina. In the United States, 11 7. But in Argentina and Europe, 7 11 21. I'm going to talk about Juan and a bunch of other stuff. And I hope Juan watches the video. Okay? Um, I really learned a lot from Juan Osaban. Okay? And I was very grateful to go down to Patriot Double Down. So we're going to go through a lot of stuff here. And um, God, please help me be quick and efficient and communicating whatever you want me to communicate right now. Okay? So here we go. Um, I really don't have patience for people that don't get Juan, so I just uh, don't talk to them, okay? They have, if, if they criticize them for almost anything, they, they are clueless. But anyway, I love the man. And uh, look at Brent Ahern Hotel, 102421. You know, like I, there's a Kennedy half, Liberty half, Franklin. I like Liberty, but Kennedy's the best. So well, I'm going to talk about Juan O'Saban. He's, sometimes I joke about it, that he knows a lot for, the, for a little feller, but I think he's got a great education. Okay, so, and he signed books for me. So, I know who he, he is as far as, you know, he's Juan Osaban. You know, there's all kinds of speculation, but it's the message, folks, okay? It's the principles, not the personality. But frankly, I love his personality, and I'm riveted whenever he's speaking, wherever he goes. So, I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here today, Laurel Canyon. But let's let's just go through some photos, okay? Kind of my my trip in the last little while on this amazing journey of truth. Okay, let's see if it'll go. Yep. Okay, that one's for Juan. Oh man. Matrix 101. That was pretty funny the other day. <laughs> if anybody's bored by Juan, they're not intelligent. That lady gave some great columns. Two great friends right there. Hmm. great to see these two guys speak two very bright young men okay some comms there if you have ears to hear the scott meister at a rally nothing's happened really nothing's happened ask gideon's army if nothing's happened it's 9 50 p.m october 12th 12 yep. excuse me i've been covering this 21 hey brent and the line is in the car no i okay no i gonna... wish i could be like my dad Flip through that. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. Yep, I've been at this for a long time because it's about truth. Look at that little guy. <laughs> I can't get much cuter than that. Oh, just one here. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Tuesday, do you copy? I tell you, man, I just, yep, I have no doubts because of Field McConnell. Field McConnell is a great man. <laughs> hey, Lynn. <laughs> I just love okay, it. Pioneer Day, um, July 24th, 2021. In oh, that was a good picture because it's about all, it's all about that, right? And then to meet Nino. Oh, my gosh. Yep, I've been shooting videos for a long time. That's down there by 29 Palms. I think it's in Arizona. It's a big date area. Well, containers are stuck. Sushi in San Francisco. Car show in San Francisco. They're not pound front of the Fairmont. Someday maybe I'll, I, I, I hope Juan gives me a ride this car. I bet he will. I have faith. Well, give me a ride in one of his cars. God bless him. They have a car show in front of the Fairmont down Knob Hill, two blocks from where I live. Oh, and it looks like they took me through that there. Okay, anyway. Oh, yeah. And it'd be nice. It's just, you know, so what do you think? Oops. Mary, 
very awesome branch. Okay, a little picture there. Can you arrange it from the penthouse? Very cool. I love San Francisco, but a little bit too liberal for me at this point in my life. It's amazing to see the air show there. That's right. Fleet Week. Yep. With some sailors. Fleet Week. So beautiful. Didn't have that uh, speed up. Of, saw a lot of ships go through there, including a lot of evergreen. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. And it's like on a really big. Uh, big airplanes, not a jet, Avro. Steps in. Oh, yep, that's when, uh, <laughs> is that going to come up? That's when Hillary Clinton came to Knob Hill. She had all the, the whole thing shut off. And same when Obama would come. One time I drove all the way from Utah, and Obama came, and I couldn't get to my place. I was one block away. I told the cop I drove all the way. He was nice. So, okay. Um, that's Puno High School back in 1975. That's where Field, his sister, and uh, Barack Obama, A.K. Barry, went to school in Hawaii. Some people think it's a cornfield place to grow corn. There's Bag and Rays in Hawaii back in 75, one of my favorite things. Juan's nice. And I, there's got to be more than one Juan. Look at that. J-O-W. What? One on what? <laughs> Look at he's nice. He cares about how I keep my books. Because I think one day we'll say, man, this guy was an important guy in the truth movement. So, Juan, I hope you watch the video. I have faith that you will. I might have to get Jerry to say, hey, Juanito, watch watch it. There's a lot of patriots, okay? Foreign Affairs, Henry Kissinger and Cyrus Vance. Whoa, Henry Kissinger, Soviet agent. What's that? Oh, what's that? Okay. This guy is a wonderful freedom fighter, isn't he? It's great. The truck driver gave you this. Billions for the bankers, that's for the people. Hard to understand sometimes, but it, that's the bottom line. San Martin and Libertador de Argentina. And then Ammon Bundy's named after that guy. That's Ammon from the Book of Mormon. He was defending the king's flocks, and he said, don't scatter the king's flocks. And so they said, uh, forget it, Ammon. We're going to... So he did his duty. He cut off 27 arms. The servants gathered the arms and took them back to uh, to the king and said, this guy's your servant. So it's quite an inspirational story from the Book of Mormon. Ammon Bundy is named after that guy, BTW. Martin Luther, interesting to study his life. He was a little disappointed when he saw what it was like when he went to Roma. Roma. This guy's American hero in history. Yep. Very interesting. Cleon Skousen, what a great guy to work with. He wrote a lot of books. I've learned a lot by um, being around Cleon Skousen back in the day. He doesn't no longer with us, but he wrote a lot of book, books. Yep, chess is going on. Nova Enemy. DC Informantia. Yes. Oh, look at DC Informantia. That's why I got this underneath there. Oh my gosh, what beautiful stamps of the Apollo 11. Moon landing. Hmm. Unusually good photos. Where's the stars in the background? It's kind of been a mystery. Or at least it was. The red carpet. Okay, that's what that in. The Royal Road to Communism. There's great quotes in that book. And Juan, the, the well-traveled, well-read guy, is he knew that Larry Abrams, the guy that does a co-author of this book, and, and Benson on the back, I wish that every citizen of every country in the free world, and every slave behind the Iron Curtain might read this book. Great book. I've got it marked. He also wrote this, Enemy of Done This. Oh, man, that guy. Oh, yeah. I didn't have weights in Argentina. <laughs> and I didn't have, you know, we didn't bag raids. I'm on a mission. But I made some, those are Ilolai Dulce de Leche cans. I made some weights out of that. I made my own weights. Ola Melania. In the end... That's our savior. 
but he has people that work for the truth. And uh, God bless that, that royal couple. Okay, the big question. I study everything. That's a Protestant guy. Was Jesus married? There's another guy that says, yep, Jesus was married. And they call it treason. Isaiah, pawns in the game. Mikhail Gorbachev. Gorbachev. No bueno or bueno. Putin. Oh, it looks like the economist. Look, wow, look how the economist portrays Putin. And time. Russia wants to undermine faith in the U.S. election. Don't fall for it. Thank goodness I have time to set me straight. What would I do without it? This is a very interesting read about the rock and roll groups from Laurel Canyon. He was killed, probably for writing this book and talking about it. Very fascinating foreign affairs. Bush, the world order, secret combinations today. So, I love Quano Saban. What? Oh, did I go through these yet? Yeah, I think I did. I think I did. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Ouch. Um, so, what I wanted to say is, I, I really have wonderful subs, I learned so much from them, but there's one, Susan, God bless her soul, in Southern Cal, and she told me about a guy called Phil, I can't even pronounce his, pronounce his last name, but I listened to Phil, I've been, you know, basically, God's told me to film this video for two days, and I procrastinated, because I do that, but I'm glad I... Probably did because I listened to this guy called Phil. He's on Telegram and he's a very smart young man. And he posited, you know, some what if questions. What if this? What if that? Oh, I forgot one of my books. And they went really deep. And basically, the questions that he posited, I've studied almost all the issues. And it's, it's food for thought because what's going to happen, folks. It's going to be a big educational process, okay? The guys that want that to happen, the Georgia Guidestones, we don't want it to happen, okay? We don't want it to happen. Oh my gosh, I have another book over there. Oh my gosh, I... There's Pierce Indians. I've got one about Kennedy, who was an international banker. Um, yeah, he worked for the Federal Reserve. I think he might have been chairman. So... What better to have a book with pictures or books with pictures to explain all, to explain all this? I'm going to be careful. I might Quan told me to be because I can, someday I'm going to rag with Quan in a sports car and we're going to have a talk about stuff. More stuff. I'm so glad I got to meet him at the Ahern Hotel. That was wonderful. But what better than a, a book with pictures to explain what happened at this historic moment in world history. Oh, yeah, there's, was that in Vice Hopped? And then, who's that? Um, this other guy's on the front of the Sgt. Pepper album. Come on, man, where's that go? Let's see if I can find it. You know, you know a cold guy. It's related to people that have been in the White House. <laughs> okay, I don't have it right there. But what's going to happen is people are going to find out a lot more things. Oh, yeah, 10 Days of Darkness. Phil talked about that. He said it already happened. It's already happened. It wasn't for the Patriots. It was for the bad guys. For the bad guys, they have already had their 10 Days of Darkness. And people that... Uh, like what Kennedy tried to do, are good guys. And then when I was there, you go across the river and you got the Kennedy School of Government, which was ultra-liberal. And the business school had all kinds of people. I really enjoyed going to Harvard Business School. And if people don't like me mentioning it, you know, let's go Brandon. <laughs> okay, so what better than a picture book with Juan O'Saban who is a very knowledgeable guy, and anybody that thinks he isn't, is not very knowledgeable. Okay, I love, I love Benson. Proper role of government. And Juan, look what he wrote down, at, down there when I was at the Patriot Double Down. The show is about to begin. So folks, we're gonna find out a lot of stuff. 
like a world of things in world history for what's going on and what happened. It's an epic battle between good and evil. And the more you know, the more you can help teach people that are going to go, oh my gosh, really? Really? Um, for instance, uh, Winston Churchill is no bueno. The more I found out about Winston Churchill, the more I disliked him. So to me, he's not a hero whatsoever. He brought us into the Second World War. That was his mission, and he did it. Not a fan of uh, the guy that was in office four terms either. Socialism Maximus. Confiscating people's goal? Really? Really, Roosevelt? Folks, oh, good. I think I can maybe get this around 17 minutes. A lot of people are going to have questions because they've spent their time being entertained and they haven't studied world history, at least from sources that are accurate. They've watched the television and they believe it. I remember watching the moon landing and, you know, everybody's all excited, including me. And then I'm talking to a teenage girl a few years ago. She goes, it didn't happen. I'm like, what? I mean, I, I kind of knew it by then. I've known for, I don't know, 20 years now because of people that share their research. But uh, there's a lot of good people in this country, most, a lot of good people. And our military is good. I'm kind of glad I wasn't in the military because I didn't want to go kill people in Vietnam. I guess I had it figured out when I was, you know, 18. Didn't want to do that. And uh, there's, there's strife in the military right now because there's people on both sides of the road. But there's, I think there's 32,000 nurses that are going to walk out on Kaiser um, out of their jobs next, I think, next week. So it's going to be very interesting, exciting, treacherous, etc. But after this is all over, we're going to love having a book that talks about the kid by the side of the road and what happened in this year. And so probably I'll be hanging out with people that want to read this book with me, reminisce. Oh, there he is. There's that guy. Yeah. He's on the front of Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which is the first album I bought when I returned from Argentina. Okay, 1735. My high school foot number. I'm going to end this. Folks, get the book. I know I waited six months, and I had to go to Vegas. And when I saw, it, when I saw a stack of them, I bought eight more for 25 bucks because there'll be a legendary book. But the most thing is to know what's in it. Read it. Reread it. Know what's going on. It's epic. We were in it. We're in it. It's about freedom versus slavery. That's what it's about. It's about freedom. Are we going to be free? Or slaves. We're going to follow Lucifer or Adonai. I've made my choice. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.